Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts and thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to share a special project that Tom Bailey and I have been working on uh, backing tracks specifically for native flute players. Um, and I'll tell you some of the differences and show you some of the differences in these tracks as opposed to some of his other work. If you have never heard of Tom Bailey, I recommend that you go check him out, Tom Bailey Backing Tracks. I've been a fan of his work for many, many years, oftentimes when I'm feeling like I'm in a rut or I just want to kind of cut loose and play my flute. I'll jump over here to YouTube and uh, find one of his tracks in a compatible key and just soar with it. And so in that spirit, um, uh, I wanted to work with him, collaborate with him in putting together some tracks under my guidance specifically for flute players. I have several students, especially who um, students who kind of struggle to play with backing tracks, get in, playing the right notes, that kind of thing. So what we've done with several of these tracks are um, we've gone in and we put safe notes. And you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see these little flute diagrams. Uh, as the chord of the backing track changes, those safe notes do also. And just think of them as a guide. You do not have to play that specific note uh, or those you know, two, three, four notes shown there. Uh, you aren't meant to play them in a line. You just pick one and you hold that note. If you're feeling a little lost or you're not quite sure where to go next and you're scared of playing uh, quote unquote a wrong note, uh, these are really helpful for you. I do wanna mention something else. Um, these tracks are made in concert pitch, which means they are in 440 hertz. If you have a flute in your collection and you're trying to play along to a backing track that you find on YouTube, chances are, unless it's marked, it's going to be in 440 hertz. So playing a 432 hertz flute next to a 440 track, your flute's just going to sound flat and it's going to be hard to find a note that really harmonizes well with that. So just keep that in mind. Um, that we're using concert pitch A440 flutes. So the tracks that, that or I'm going to play one track here today, uh, give you kind of an example of what to do. Um, but these are in the key of A on YouTube. Now on my website, we put these together in a product called Passages. It includes eight tracks in five different keys. The most common keys that we see are flutes being manufactured in and played in. A, G, F sharp, E, and D. And so you'll get um, each one of these tracks in those five keys. So today, I'm not going to waste any more time talking. I'm going to get into playing. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to play along with uh, this track. So this is uh, the newest one as of this date that Tom has released, Emotional Native Tribal Flute Backing Track in A Minor. So with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on, and in that left-hand corner, you're going to see uh, those little finger diagrams pop up. And I'm pretty well uh, trained with playing with a backing track. Um, so if you're not, use these. Um, I will lean on them occasionally. I'll land on them. But I also like to create some dissonance because it can help our music just give a little edge. Uh, so when that resolve comes, it's a little sweeter. So here we go.
just very beautiful sounds uh, that you can play along with. And we're going to be adding to this um, the ones that have the Johnny Lipford in the title of them. Those are the ones that um, those are the ones that have these little finger diagrams in them. Like I said, Tom has lots of backing tracks here on YouTube, so take a peek. We put together a playlist. Uh, we've gone through and picked out other tracks of his that are more compatible with the native flute. So hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. Uh, please uh, continue to share, uh, continue to like, and subscribe uh, to both. Uh, my channel and Tom's channel. We, we really appreciate that. And if you have any questions about the native flute, feel free to drop those in the comments below. Uh, look forward to chatting with you there and uh, hope to see you in another video very soon. Thanks so much. See you next time.